Hi, it's Tricia from East Marsh Acres and today I am processing some cherry tomatoes. So all the cherry tomatoes that you've seen here in this bass, this thing and on here and we've got some fresh ones still in the fridge are all from a volunteer <laughs> plants that happen to be come up in our garden along our side our onions and our kale and whatever so it must have been in the compost that we use the seeds and then we grew some cherry tomatoes because in the hoop house i didn't i don't have any cherry tomatoes really i've got only these types of tomatoes that are kind of yeah they're an, a, a small roma type of tomato and uh, anyways we got tons of them i'm glad for them and so i'm going to preserve them today in jars in olive oil uh, for the fridge. So the first thing that I have to do is I'm going to put, so these have been all washed and all the stems taken off and I'm just going to put them on a big baking sheet. Hopefully they're only about a layer on here. Yeah, it looks like it's working out perfectly with just one layer here. Get them as much as possible on one layer. So all the ones that kind of had damage to them I didn't use because I don't want to have them being preserved that way. And uh, okay, so there's some more that are not quite one layer good all one layer now so let me see where i can put you so you can see what i do next i can edit yeah. so for the roasting i'm going to oh this is the wrong this is balsamic vinegar oh, that tastes good too <laughs> the olive oil. Sea salt. And some pepper. And if you've been watching our videos, you probably realize that I do this with the larger tomatoes too to make sauce. However, I'm not going to obviously um, I'm not going to um, put them in, you know, in a, in a food processor or, or the immersion blender to make sauce. So I'm just going to leave them as whole as they can be after roasting. So I'm going to put them in the oven and they go in the oven for 20 minutes or until the skin breaks. So I'll probably check them at 15 minutes. And in the meantime, I've got a bunch of herbs here that I will cut up and uh, get ready to put in the jars as well. So I'm going to put some basil and some thyme and oregano in there as well, and as well as some, some garlic. So I'll get that prepared while that's cooking. Uh, in the meantime, I will show you what else I've been up to. So this morning, I baked bread. And uh, so this is a whole wheat, well, a half and half whole wheat. You can see it's, it's very light in our family because there's a piece already missing and they're still warm. So, and behind, you can see this is last week's, end of the week, last week. 
that I made some peach jam and I preserved the last of the peaches. I'm hoping to get more peaches to preserve peaches because there's nothing like um, peaches out of the jar in the winter time and get that summer taste. So I'll uh, cut this off right now and we'll get back when the tomatoes are ready. Hey there, okay, I'm back. Um, the tomatoes have been roasted. So, and I've got all my herbs all cut and washed and ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do then, I'm gonna kind of do this in layers. if you've had one of these they're handy 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 because you can put stuff in there so when they've roasted so this was for 20 minutes and they just started cracking so that's how you want them so you know that they're done so I'm just going to start popping some in there like that. then I think I'll put a few sprigs of the um, herbs and then I'm going to layer and maybe garlic in there and I'll layer some more going to use a knife to kind of just make room and down in there. Just along the sides, it kind of just makes a little bit of room for them. As you can see, I can add some more. probably enough because what I want to do is have at least about an inch of, of olive oil um, on top. So I'm going to take my olive oil and I'm going to And then I'm going to take my knife again and I'm going to take out some of the, the bubbles. So you know, the olive oil is getting in between there. I'm just going to pop a little bit more on top. Now since this is canned, I'm not going to be like canned. I don't have to worry about, um, yeah, headspace and whatever. So that looks pretty nice. And that will stay in my fridge for however long. And I can just use it to pop some, some in there. So let's start again. some oregano some that garlic or two Mm 
I'm assuming that I can like, you know, throughout the, they're in there, I can actually, um, take some of the, the, um, basil out or some of the, 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 uh, I can use them if I need them. So. Okay, maybe I was a little bit too generous there. Good. And I'll put the olive oil in. Again, I'll just get some of the bubbles out. another one. Looks like I can probably do one more. So let me put in the jar. Okay, I haven't got a big jar handy, so I think I'll do a couple small jars. And, uh, I think that'll be good. Oops. Some more garlic here. Let's see how fresh they are. There's still the dirt on them. But as soon as I peel them, they'll be fine. This might even make a nice little gift for someone. This might not fill up all the way, but then you just have to make sure that it's it's covered with the olive oil. It's a little 
dirty. <laughs> And just finish them off. I can always grab it then I guess when I want to make Take care of our cherry tomatoes, which we may get frost tonight, so I might have to go out and pick up the rest um, today. So, anyways, thanks for watching again. Um, hope you found this helpful of ways to use your cherry tomatoes if you've got an abundance. And uh, yeah, I like to use what I can and save what I can for the winter. So, talk to you later. Take care.